you are very stupid. You are a blameless woman. You'll amount to nothing. Even the man will tell us, so I'll continue cheating. What are you going to do? Hi, my YouTube family. Welcome on set again. Our today's topic will actually be an observation, if I may say. It's an observation that I've made that I felt that uh, I needed to have this discussion with us all today because I have faced it in my life. I have seen it happen in some of my friends' lives, some of the people we have interacted with. I have seen a similar situation occur. And I felt that we needed to have this discussion now in this platform. And maybe by airing this out, it will save a union of marriage. It will help maybe somebody who was actually doing it out of ignorance to just stop or wake up and make a solid decision about their lives because sometimes we do small things in life which are very damaging and i will give a few instances and cases because this is something that has been welling up in my spirit it is not like i have witnessed this currently it is something that started happening even when i was in my union of marriage i met friends personally i know of a person who actually died as a result of this. So the discussion of today is something that is very close to my heart, something that I felt I, I've been just keeping it. And every day as I keep keeping this thing, this topic from discussing it, it's like something happens, something happens to remind me that you need to talk about this. So today we are not going to dive into script into the scriptures but it is something that I felt that I needed to just have a discussion with you talk to us all including myself talk to husbands talk to wives about it so that at least one it can save a life number two it can mend a marriage a union of marriage number three maybe uh, both parties can make solid decision instead of hurting each other or continuing remaining in the heart. They can make a candid solid decision to just support each other in whatever life's decision they have decided. Whether they have chosen to stay together or part ways, whichever, they can just do it in a mature way. And by the end of the day, what I'm looking at as the end game after this topic is to save a life. So the topic, my topic today, it's actually two topics in one. You'll understand why I, I say that. Because the first topic, it's actually entirely on men. The second topic will be on women. So the first topic will be stop, you are killing her. And stop, you are killing her. In most cases, I have come to realize they don't, men don't even realize when they are doing it. They don't realize that this is the end result. You are killing her. They are not realizing it when they are doing it. And now, let me start with this statement. As I always like starting with a statement. This is in relation to after the man has been caught cheating. Not even doing any other thing. You have been caught by your wife. It's true you have been cheating. Your wife has evidence that you have been cheating on her. And then this follows. And what follows is what I felt we needed to address because I have realized majority of men wind up doing this. And now I need to bring you to an, an understanding and giving even some examples, life examples that have occurred, that I have lived to see or hear, or even I can point out this person I know. I'm not talking about somebody I don't know. I'm talking of real life situations that have happened as a result of this so now the minute the wife has caught the husband cheating then the husband winds up doing this number one the first thing they will wind up doing is denial so it wasn't me so you can remember the shaggy song it wasn't me it wasn't me i even had her in the shower it wasn't me she even caught me on camera 
even if you caught her in the act, it wasn't me. So it wasn't me, but now in this case, it is not even the Shaggy song, it wasn't me. It is the song including insults. So you're saying it wasn't me, and are you, you actually now continue with insulting the woman. I think you're mad. I think you're hallucinating. I think you think you saw or you know or you are told, you know? It's like now you, you shift or you, you are trying to change the mindset of this woman to even start questioning, is it true I saw what I saw? Is it true <laughs> I caught them in the act? Is it true that really my husband was cheating? Yes, you were caught in the act. Yes, there are text messages. Yes, there is evidence that this thing happened. But now you as a man, and honestly, it's not a laughing matter, but the way you twist, you will wind up twisting this situation to suit you and now to shift, to, to introduce a blame game to the wife. You're mad. I don't think you are thinking straight. Are you sure this is what you do? You're hallucinating. Me, never. It's like uh, if you have your own plans, stop looking for excuses. Not because you have been caught in the act. Now your wife has plans of living or plans of doing something else or plans or even also cheating on you, you know. But you have been caught cheating. So the first thing you do, it wasn't me and that uh, mentality of uh, insulting. I don't think and I don't believe this is the right move that you should do. Let's continue because I do not want to preempt what, what, is, what is unfolding in this discussion. The second thing you, the man will do is lie. And not all, all men, I will give all, let me not preempt because I'm feeling like I need to say something but I hold back. After it wasn't me, number two will be a lie after another. And now you'll start lying, you know, if it is not the devil that led me, you know, I was actually not in that place. It seems that uh, that photo you see, it was a Photoshop, or I don't know that lady, even though that girl has been calling you, and actually when your wife has confronted her and the girl has insulted her and told her I'm not leaving your man or your husband, you know, all these things. So when the lies begin, the unfortunate truth about lies you can't keep up with the lie. You will keep lying until one moment you forget you told your wife this and you say you didn't say it. And that is when your lies find you out. Does that make sense? That many a times when you keep the lie, you will forget what lie you said yesterday and counter it tomorrow, you yourself and alone. So with that immediately, the woman will even now ascertain that on top of the cheating, you are a liar. And actually, it is now truthful that even though I had doubts, this girl cornered you as you're saying, you know, you'll come up with so many things. You are dragged, you are in the, in the bar, minding your own business, drinking, and then this girl just put some things on you. You don't know what happened. The next thing now is that me, I don't even remember doing those things. And then tomorrow you forget. Then your story changes all over again. And then your sins find you out. So I still feel that this is not the right move that you should do. Before we get to number three, as a wife, because this topic I said it will be in two. Now we are addressing after the cheating, after the man has been caught. What does the man do? So now while we are here, when we embark to the side of the wife, you realize we are not addressing all women. We are addressing women who have decided to stay. Because the topic of today, it's in regards to the men who have been caught cheating by their wives who have made a choice. Irregardless of the situation, they are staying in the union of marriage. So let us be clear on that as we dwell in this particular discussion. Today is not a topic, it's a discussion. So now, when after number two, number one, it wasn't me. Number two, a lie after a lie. 
Now, before we get to number three, this is where now I will say the line is drawn here between a man who just made a mistake and the monster that has been hiding, awaiting the set time to become a narcissist. So after the lie, this is where the line is drawn between two kinds of men. A genuine husband who actually uh, made a mistake. A genuine husband who actually, let me call it, which is not right, but I will just say it as they say it, we are just being men. A genuine man who is just being a man, who is just seeing, who is visual, who got attracted out there and winded up cheating. So this is where the line is drawn between this genuine man and a narcissist. Or this genuine man, as my therapist called them, uh, the monster. You see, this is where the line is drawn. After it wasn't me, then what follows? The lie. Now, when the line is drawn, it means what? This genuine man will either confess, will either ask for forgiveness, or will stop the act. And now he will start trying to mend his marriage. That is what a genuine man will do. So after drawing the line between the two kinds of men, now we go to the third one. After the lie, arrogance now we have jumped into now if you if arrogance starts now that is where the narcissistic behavior begin this is where now the woman needs to start realizing i got married to a monster or i got married to a narcissist because now after the lies the arrogance sets in you are trying because when when um when the arrogance sets in, what this narcissist now has begun to do, he's trying to silence the woman by instilling fear now. You know, you have no right to talk. You have no right to ask me any questions. So arrogance starts and that is why even the man will tell us, so I'll continue cheating. What are you going to do? There is nothing you can do to me. You know, so if you feel you're fed up, you can do whatever you feel like doing. You know, all this kind now, he is not remorseful. He is not sorry of what he has done. Now, arrogance sets in. Now, the fourth and last one is now insults. And when we talk of insults, we talk of very abusive sentiments follows. So insults, very abusive sentiments follows. Yeah, and take note in this stage. Now, stage number four, and this is not the last stage actually. Stage number four, when the insult starts, very abusive sentiments. These are now to begin to make the woman feel useless, wasted. I am just doing you a favor. You being with me is just, I'm doing you a favor. You are very stupid. You are a blameless woman. You'll amount to nothing. You're very foolish. You know, things that makes a woman look at herself and like, I'm deserving to be cheated on. If I'm all these things my husband is saying, then I deserve it. Maybe that is why my husband is cheating because that other woman has more brains than me. She's more beautiful. Look at you, a pig, a fat pig, very ugly. Now, this is where the woman, this woman is still alive. This woman is still breathing. But this is where now the man draws one of the last nails on the head of this woman to kill her. Because how these women start dying while they are living is from those insults, those very abusive sentiments. Sentiments that no matter what happens, this woman will never forget. And men, you need to take note of that. That woman will never forget. Whether you apologize 10,000 times after this one, whether you do whatever you need to do, this is something that this woman, this wife, she has made a choice to stay in this union of marriage, but she will never forget. So take note, this is where the woman dies while she's still living. 
Then we go to number five. And remember now where the lines have been drawn. Now this is narcissistic, a typical narcissist of a husband. So number five, physical abuse. It's still not enough to call this wife names. It is still not enough to lie to this woman. It is not still not enough to abuse her. To call her all the names that can destroy her self-esteem, can destroy and put her to an end of who she is as a woman. Like rip her, strip her naked with all the abusive sentiments that you have. That is still not enough. So you wind up physically abusing her. But still, this wife has made a choice to stay in the union of marriage because of many reasons we are bound to discover shortly. So I feel these statements that I have made today, it is an observation. I am repeating, it's an observation I have made. Firstly, I saw that happen in my union of marriage. Secondly, I have witnessed it from various people, people we have interacted with. Some are even friends we have interacted with. And this has happened. Maybe what I can say that varies is the degree. But the game, the pattern is still one and the same. But the degree on how far this kind of behavior goes or can multiply is what varies. But remember, this is for the women who have made a choice to stay in the union of marriage. And now you will see the reason why this woman has made a choice to stay in this union of marriage, which of course I will not advocate, but I always like saying this. For those who have stayed, they are very strong. But the ones who have made a choice to leave are the strongest. So they are not losers in this journey of life. Because I have lived in it, therefore I know exactly what I am talking about. And that is why I cannot sit in this platform to blame any woman who has made a choice to stay in this kind of union of marriage. Yeah. So now we go to the next step. Now this is the side of the woman 